Melbourne is Australia's second largest city and is home to Monash University, which is the largest university in Australia with an enviable national and international reputation for excellence in research and teaching. The Faculty of Medicine, Nursing and Health Sciences, which is the largest faculty at Monash, ranks in the top 40 universities worldwide for clinical, preclinical and health sciences. Located at the Alfred Hospital, the Central Clinical School's Department of Gastroenterology undertakes research into intestinal health and diseases in a variety of specialist areas. As a gastroenterologist, the most common patient we see is someone who has irritable bowel syndrome. And so it occurs in about one in every seven people in the community, and probably about 50% of our work. We've been working on a group of short chain carbohydrates, which we have called FODMAPs, which actually can induce symptoms. And what we found is that uh, by reducing the intake of these FODMAPs, that three out of four people have marked improvement in their symptoms. We have been investigating this for now about 10 years, and it's included randomised controlled trials and many other studies into mechanisms of action. And now there is work has gone on across the world to show a very strong evidence base that this diet is effective in irritable bowel syndrome. A dietitian who is experienced in this diet should teach a low FODMAP diet to patients. Dietitians play an important role in IBS management and low FODMAP diet education. There are three key phases of patient education. Firstly, there is the clinical and dietary assessment of the patient. Secondly, low FODMAP diet education, which should be individualised to the patient. And finally, the re-challenge phase, where the diet is broadened to the patient's level of tolerance. Dietitians around the world are using the Monash University Low FODMAP Diet app to help teach their patients about this diet. The app is a fantastic resource for dietitians working in this area. The accurate analysis of food with FODMAP content was essential in the development of the low FODMAP diet. The team here at Monash have developed the analytical methods to measure FODMAP content of a wide range of foods. Hundreds of foods have now been tested here at Monash. Our extensive knowledge about FODMAP food composition is translated out into the community by our smartphone application. The Monash University Low FODMAP Diet app is helping health professionals and patients implement this diet all over the world. The app is now downloaded in over 100 countries and we are continually updating the app with newly tested foods. And the wonderful thing is that the funds raised from the sale of the app come back to fund more analysis of foods and also more research in this area. Following the launch of the app, a common request from patients and food industry was to have brand specific information listed in the Monash app. Patients wanted to know that specific products were low in FODMAPs. We also had requests from food industry to have their products tested by Monash and to have their brand specific information listed in the Monash app. The team at Monash responded to these requests by developing the Monash University Low FODMAP Certification Program. The Monash University Low FODMAP Certification Program provides consumers confidence that the products have been tested by Monash for FODMAP content and are low in FODMAPs. Certified food products are listed in the Monash app and some certified products also display the Monash stamp on their product packaging. We've had worldwide interest from food industry about this program. It's great working in this area. We know that food testing we conduct at Monash helps people to control their symptoms. I am a dietitian and PhD student conducting research in the area of paediatrics, a difficult area to receive funding in, but thankfully the app has been able to support my research.